traveling in taxis these days has become highly unreliable. Taxi drivers in Kathmandu are known for meter tampering, earthing, and other manipulations to highly charge their passengers. In fact, most of the taxi drivers even refuse to go by the meter, and they set their own rates to travel to a particular destination. Such a trend has forced many passengers to abandon taxis as their medium of transport altogether. Once built, we set out to test our application in the streets of Kathmandu, since we wanted a road that was wide and free from unnecessary traffic jams and vehicular movement. We selected Kodeshwar Chowk of Kathmandu Valley as the starting point to test our application. Our application, KTM Taxi Meter, aims to change this trend of passengers being duped by such taxi drivers. Working on the basis of GPS and the rate provided by the Nepal Bureau of Standards and Meteorology, our application provides the passengers with a reliable and accurate rate for traveling in a taxi. We selected Kaushal Tar of Bhaktapur as our travel destination. Since we were not aware of the cost of our travel, we used the SMS system launched by the Metropolitan Traffic Police Division to estimate the total travel cost. Through the SMS system, the fare was estimated at sixty-seven point six rupees. Next. We approached a taxi in the nearby taxi stand. The driver of the taxi was not willing to travel by the meter. After much bargaining, he finally agreed to travel to our destination for a hundred rupees. We informed the driver that the actual rate came out to be around 68 rupees, as per the standards set by the government. Next, we started our application. As the application starts, the map of Nepal gets loaded. Once connected to the GPS, the map takes the user to the current location and shows the starting point as a green marker. We can see that the minimum charge in the application is set to ten rupees, which is the same as in the taxi meter. As the vehicle starts to move, the green marker also starts moving, tracing the path traveled by the taxi. As we traveled, we noticed that the fare amounts in the taxi meter and our application are almost equal. Since our app ignores the time function of our travel, some fair difference can be seen between the fair readings shown by the meter and the app. As we reached our destination, we finally stopped our application. A warning message is displayed. As we press OK, the route summary is displayed with the actual distance traveled, total charge amount, and the minimum charge. The destination is pointed by the red marker. As you can see, the cost shown by our application is sixty-nine rupees, which is the exact cost of travel without considering the time function.